Hey friends, it's Lisa. Welcome and thank you for watching another one of my videos. Today I have my selections for September 2017 in terms of candles and wax melts. These are the candles that I will be inspired from throughout the month to pull when I'm looking to burn something or warm something. Now I have a lot of candles in front of me and I actually as of right now, I'm going to be going on vacation for a week, so there's no way that I'm going to be going through all of these candles in a month, but hey, it's good to have some goals. And by the way, today I'm just behind the camera because I feel that sometimes when I'm in front of the camera, I tend to just go off on tangents, and I'm trying to make this as quick as possible for both of our enjoyment. So the first candle that I will be burning this month, or be pulling from, I should say, is this Sonoma candle fall in love and it's this beautiful tri-color candle orange purple and green you get it from Kohl's and the description is crisp green apple complements the freshness of white cedar wood twirled with bright hints of woodland sage and applewood thyme. The next candle I actually just bought about two hours ago and it is from Bath and Body Works and it is the highly hyped Pepper Plum. It's finally at my local Bath and Body Works store and I wasn't going to get it but I got it and I'm putting it in with my September just in case. But it is Sweet Plum, Saffron Spice, and Black Peppercorn and I'm already excited to repurpose this glass. That's probably the reason why I ended up getting it. I have a Pumpkin, pre pumpkin pre Pecan Sorry, there's no pumpkin in this title. Praline Pecan. Uh, this was available earlier this year uh, in the spring, and it is Southern Pecans, Warm Cinnamon Sugar, Warm Caramel. Sparkling Cinnamon Sugar and Warm Caramel. Another candle from Bath & Body Works, and I really wish I bought more of these. I only bought one. I thought I was gonna have an opportunity to buy more, and then of course when I went back, the candle was gone, it never came back during semi-annual sale, and I haven't seen it since, but it is toasted coconut. And this smells like a Samoa Girl Scout cookie. So if you know what that cookie is, then this is what that smells like. And the notes on this candle say it is a toasted golden, co <laughs> golden toasted coconut, fresh vanilla bean, and soft caramel. Really wish I had gotten more of these. Another candle that I just picked up with the pumpkin, um, the pepper plum, dude, my mind is just everywhere, is Harvest Plum. And this is sweet roasted pear, cinnamon sugar crumble, and freshly whipped buttercream. This candle and the pepper peppered plum, I went back and forth with maybe four other candles, and I ended up buying these two at the $12.50 sale. So I'm pretty excited for that. And to go with the Harvest Plum, I am pulling this returning favorites from Yankee of Spiced Pear. I think pear is a perfect scent right now. It's kind of summer, it's kind of fall, and I think it works in September. From Nicole Home Accents, which you can get at AC Moore's, I have the salted caramel candle that I bought last year. I never got a chance to burn it, and now that it's fall, I'm excited to see what this one's all about. From the Yankee Candle Outlet, I have this one wick pillar of Honeycrisp Apple Cider, and you can see that there is a yellow outlet label. The reason for this is actually pretty obvious. It's a crazy wick, but nothing that a wick trimmer won't fix. And this just smells like perfect apple cider slash um, like the fresh apples. Not so much, you know, like the dark apple cider, but it smells really good. And I'm excited to have this scent this month. I'm also putting in my September, although this might go into October, is Sugared Pumpkin Swirl. And this is a, another of the new fall 2017 scents from Yankee. I actually bought this at the same time as that Honeycrisp candle at the outlet. It has a beige label, and I'm thinking it's because this might have been either one of the first candles of a batch 
or the last candles of a batch because I've heard that those end up in the outlets for quality control because there's no other real reason I can see why this candle may have ended up at the outlets. I have this small jar of crisp fall night that I picked up at the winter 2016 semi-annual sale for about a dollar and so I've been holding on to this and I'll probably burn it this month. I have this Kringle Daylight Candle, a vanilla latte. I mean, this just smells exactly like you would think, but for some reason, I just feel like this is like a fall candle to me, so I will be burning it this month. I have two Yankee Milk Cups. First, I have Spiced Pumpkin, and the next I have Salted Caramel. I know this next one might be a random choice, but from Scentsy, I am going to be warming this month Coconut Flan. You would think that this might be more of a summer scent, but this there's something in this to me that I feel like could work for fall, which is why I decided to pull it out for this month. And last, I am going to be warming Honeycrisp Cider from Sensationals that you can buy at Walmart. This is a little bit milder than the Yankee Apple Cider candle that I showed earlier, but it's still really, really nice, and um, I'm excited to give it a shot for September. So that's it. I tried to go as fast as possible, but those are the candles and wax melts that I will be pulling from for the, for the most part for September 2017. So I hope you guys all have a great month. I hope you guys all have really interesting candle and wax picks yourself. If you would like to share them in the comments, I would love to read them. If you find this video entertaining or interesting or anything, please give it a thumbs up and think about subscribing. And until next time, I hope you guys all stay well. Bye!